Hello guys, welcome back to SandVFX. Today, in this lesson, we will be looking at tearing a cloth in 3D Studio Max. So I do already have a tutorial on cloth modifier in 3ds Max. Uh, I show two different uh, uh, flag animation and curtain by using cloth modifier. So I have explained a bit about cloth in 3ds Max from here. Also, you can also find a tutorial on reactor cloth. So you can watch some tutorial on cloth. Uh, to into my channel and there are also some other tutorials for film effects ray fire and also some modeling tutorials for 3ds max so uh, for Krakatoa as well you can just view them and today we will just tear our cloth in 3d studio max so let us begin by creating a simple plane okay let's create a plane let me press the J key to get rid of this selection bracket and F4 to turn on edge faces. Okay, so for every cloth, we need to have uh, lots of segments so that our simulation will look smooth. Um, so we need to bump this up. Okay, it might depend on your size of a plane. So let's say if you have a plane of something like 1000 by 1000. Okay, now you see that you have bigger sizes. Let's let it increase to 10,000 by 10,000. Okay, now you can see they have law a very big size at 50 by 50. But when it reduces it down to 300 by 200, and if you if we zoom in, we can see that we have now really small sizes. So it really depends on how large your plane is. So you can it might vary according to your size so let me set it for now to about 35 oops, sorry 35 by 35 okay that'll be fine for now okay now let me add in a cloth modifier cloth okay and let us go ahead and hit simulate once let's see nothing happens because we have not added this plane as our cloth so what we need to do is go to object properties and plane cloth and you can select any presets from here uh, any types of cloth for now let me select cotton okay and if I hit simulate now okay now this plane falls because it is now part of our cloth simulation okay our cloth dynamics so so what I'm gonna do next is let me create another box so that it will help our cloth to interact okay and let me pull it a little bit back let me go hit auto key and let me animate this as if like it is hitting our cloth okay. you can create any object to do that okay for now this will be fine now let's go to again to object properties and I will add in my box okay. box and let me set it as a collision object okay now let me go ahead and hit simulate okay you can see that the cloth just fell down so it could not interact so in order to prevent that falling down what I'm gonna do is go to group and select all these top vertices and let me make a group for them and top and let me hit this preserve so that these are preserved so they will not be part of our simulation anymore so let's go to cloth and let me hit simulate Oops, sorry let me erase my simulation and again go back to object properties if you accidentally simulate twice then you'll have some problems with your uh, object properties so again you have to set them okay to cotton okay now I have already I al do already have that group preserved group so let me go ahead and hit simulate now you can see that the box is interacting with our class right okay let me cancel it and erase my simulation okay so now what we're going to do is cut it right through that so let me go ahead and go back to group again and this time I'm gonna select some vertices from here let me select this line okay and this time instead of making a group I'm gonna go ahead and make tier okay make tier and let me rename it to tier okay and the next thing I'll do is go to my object properties and select my box and down here you'll see this option called cut clothes so that enabling this option will allow our object to interact with this and cut that cloth let me hit ok and let me simulate ok 
Okay. Okay. Our cloth has already started cutting down because it is pulling down by our gravity. So let me just cancel it. And you can see that our cloth is now two piece. But it started to tear before it was interacted with our box. Let me erase my simulation. Okay. And let me go ahead and reduce my gravity to zero. Okay. And let me simulate it again. Let's see what will happen now. Okay. Now you can see that our box has torn our cloth. But our cloth are behaving really differently because we don't have any gravity, so they are flying upwards. Okay. That's not a problem here because we are seeing on how we can tear our cloth. You can see we have tear, but when a tear a cloth tears, it will not have this smooth line or simple edges like this one right here so to get rid of that or to solve that what we're gonna do is let me just delete this plane right here and let me create another plane okay let me create another plane right here and this time I'll get rid of all these length segments one by one and I'm gonna just go ahead and convert it to an nerves okay and let me go down here surface approximate and let me set it to high go to advanced parameters go to the Launi, and let me set it to about 2500 okay now you can see that we have got these uh, tiny little triangles right here so that it will give us some random effects while tearing a cloth okay that's good and the next thing uh, I have set it to not too large amount so I'll just go ahead and convert it to an editable poly okay if you want a uh, lot more uh, segments than this one then you can just go ahead go down to uh, HSDS uh, let me just select a few polygons right here let's say about this one and I can just subdivide them to create additional uh, segments so that we have uh, we'll get little pieces of our larger segments more segments at certain areas so let me control C them and let me select some reason around here like this and let me self divide them okay that will be fine and I can again convert it to an editable poly okay now I need to make it a part of a cloth simulation so let me add in a cloth modifier and go to object properties select a plane cloth and cotton let me add in my object box okay and s set my box to collision object okay that's fine now let's again go to group same thing we're gonna repeat again select all these top vertices and make a group okay let me rename it to top and preserve okay now next thing we're gonna do select all these uh, vertices from down here but we're not gonna select it just uh, by dragging this one but we may want to do a little bit different so let me go to this press selection and select some vertices randomly okay so like this somewhat like this okay. just select all the way through down there okay let's go ahead and You can select these vertices by any means, or also you can do that rectangle selection as well. That's not gonna give any problem. And also, I'm gonna add in some thing around right here as well to get some variations. Okay. Okay, that'll be fine. And let me go ahead and make tear. And let me rename it to tear or tearing, whatever you like. Okay, tear will be fine. Okay. Let's get back to cloth, go to object properties once again, go to box and enable our cut cloths. Okay. And let's hit our simulation. Okay, let's see now what will happen. Hope nothing will happen. I hope it won't it won't crash. Okay. Yeah. We are moving ahead. see if it tears or not 
second let me cancel it to see whether or not it has been torn okay it has not been torn uh, but that's fine we'll fix that soon okay let me go to our frame 50 okay and on the key let me move this box a little more apart a little more further let's see okay you can see that it has already started to tear a little bit so let me get rid of auto key again and erase my simulation and simulate it once again and let's see now what will happen oops let me cancel it I have got this two cloths in single one so let me just delete one of them okay now let's get back there and let me increase this timeline a little more maybe up to 70 and erase simulation and simulate oops we have a scene crashing thankfully we have auto save feature on 3ds max so we don't have to go uh, from everything from the very beginning so I have already loaded up my scene now let us go ahead and check our object properties if it's fine okay let me go to plane collision object okay and from the box I'm gonna delete this cloth like once and go to object properties again add in my object Okay, box and let me set it to collision object plane to cotton also for this one enable the cut clothes okay and erase my simulation let me set my gravity to a little bit let's say negative okay negative uh, let's say 400 and let me just simulate I think it will tear before the object hits because it is pulling down by our gravity now. Let's see what will happen. Okay, you can see that our cloth is now tearing from this part right here. The place where we select set it that tear group. Okay. That's good now. Okay, now we can also see a lot more detail into our cloth simulation. Uh, previously we had that flat single line and we also have some pieces uh, coming out of that obviously when tearing a cloth some pieces may get out but not in all cases but and also we have these jagged faces like this one which will give a lot more detail and if you have a really good system requirement or spec specify specification high specification then you can add in a lot more detail into this one to create a better looking uh, result or you may also add in a turbo smooth turbo smooth to this one to make it a little more smoother okay you can see it's a little more smoother increase the iteration more okay you can do anything like that okay now that's how we cut our tear cloth in 3d studio max i hope uh, you guys enjoyed it and hope it will help you somewhat don't forget to check my other tutorials on my channel sand vfx okay and uh, also don't forget to share because um, that's how we can help me and i can create more great content for you guys for 3ds max for krakatoa and more um, i'll be keeping updating you with more tutorials okay thank you very much for watching and see you next time